What is going on guys? Dr. D here from One Hive Invicta bringing you the week three war recap from CWL Rising. Uh, One Hive Invicta faced Red Onslaught this weekend. Uh, did not quite go the way that we would have hoped it went. Um, 84 to 86. Prop to those props to those guys over there. Putting up 86 stars is is um, no easy task, and they they did a great job. Um, we're gonna go ahead and hop over and look at the war statistics. But before I do, um, I just want to say props to Paragon Hunter, who makes um, a lot of the. Uh, covers for the um, CWL. The cover that you see right now was made by Paragon Hunter. Um, he also puts up some pretty cool videos. I will put a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. Go and check him out. Um, all right, let's go over and look at the war statistics. So here are the basic war statistics. You can see 95% destruction for uh, Invicta, 94.77 for Red Onslaught. 84 to 86, um, we had 24 triples, they had 26 triples. Uh, what this really came down to was a miss dip by one of our 11s, and then a uh, they had a 10v10 triple, and we did not. Um, we I mean, we were close to a 10v10 triple. You can see here, um, they left one open 10, and that is it. Um, two starred all of the 11s and tripled everything else. We left three open tens, and you can see Tiger Hood here actually had a 92%, so we're close on that 10v10 triple, but uh, that's what it boiled down to was was those two attacks. Had we gotten those, we, we had the percent, we would have gotten the win, uh, but that's the way it goes sometimes. All right, um, so without any 10v10 triples and only 11 dips, we are going to jump right in, and we are going to look at uh, some Town Hall 9 attacks. Um, let's start with Tanyu, who had a uh, six pack this war and he's coming in with a pentalaloon so drops the king we'll speed this up a little bit and drops his queen um, the goal here is to pull that enemy queen over um, take her out with his uh, king and queen gets her with the queen there we go um, now he starts the the laloon three hounds are in um, heavy on the hounds right away here because of the uh, double um, air defenses on them and gets uh, a few more loons going. Uh, notice that right off the bat he had dropped two loons. That was to distract that sweeper so that he could get everything else working over towards this uh, air defense. Um, pulls in the fourth hound right there. Uh, the last hound pops just as the fourth one is getting there. Um, heals where there's the, the potential of some, uh, you can see some Teslas that were here. And that is it. Uh, lots and lots of, of uh, troops still up. You can see the enemy hound is over here. Um, but it is nothing but cleanup at this point. Drops the last couple of loons to take out this high HP Dark Elixir storage. And it is three stars in the bag. Nice job, Tanyu, and nice war. All right, let's move down here a little bit. Um, Bella. So Bella is coming with the Witch Slap. And if you are, <laughs> I mean, if you haven't started using this or haven't been using it in your, uh, in, in your wars, boy, you are missing out. This is a really, really overpowered attack. Um, Bella likes to throw a couple of witches in the middle along with the bowlers, and she always brings a couple of giants. Um, another approach to this is to bring a golem, and I feel like the golem helps a little bit better if you have lower heroes. Um, I have just seen this attack demolished so, so frequently. Um, you do have to be very cognizant of the air defenses. That's the one thing that can ruin this attack quickly is if the air defenses take out the healers that are meant to be on your witches, that's it, it's done. Um, they'll, they'll come up on something like this, and that splash damage will just crush those witches. But uh, Bella's pushing through here. I'll say that Bella has gotten six packs in, I mean, almost every war, and it's largely because she has so gotten so good at picking the correct base for this attack and then just walking walking through it. I mean, she just storms through that base. Lots and lots of skellies left. I don't think she lost a single witch there. Very impressive. Nice job, Bella. Um, Adam, we had a different one I wanted to show. 
Bazu. This was a great, great attack. Um, so Bazu is coming with uh, a Goho attack. It's shattered. Um, does have uh, CC uh, bowlers. So if we zoom in here, you've got the king. You've got one golem down. Second golem comes down. Uh, queen is down. And the goal is to get in here and get this enemy queen. Take out this uh, um, expo because of just, you know, the damage caused by expos is... Uh, crushes hogs um, and there we go he is in uh, notice that he is not going to use a single heal on this kill squad they got the the goals that he wanted them to get they are in about as far as he expects them to go and at this point he starts bringing in the hogs now notice there's only three or four point defenses on the back side over here. Um, gonna throw down a heal right here because this expo can be brutal. I thought that's where he used it, maybe I'm wrong. Did lose a lot of hogs to that expo. There we go, heal comes down. Um, oh, it's because of the, the double giant bomb there. Couple more hogs on the back end over here. And really one defense left. Loses a few hogs to a spring. And that is it. It is Tree Stars in the bag. Has a sw swag heel and a swag hog. Nice job, Bazu. Very, very great attack. And there we go. I believe Bazu also had a six pack of Swore. Aimer, we're going to watch an attack of his down lower. Um, Mitch. Mitch had a very cool attack here. So this is a, um, he, he has three pounds, and I think that he actually has um, CC bowlers. Let's see here. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he has a, uh, oh no, he doesn't. It's, it's, a, it's a quad laloon, and he is going to take out that air defense up there. And once he does, he brings in a couple of loons. And starts working his um, way around this base counterclockwise. Oh, this is what, what I really like. So throws down the skelly on that queen with a rage. And they, skellies under rage, eat those queens up so fast. Um, drops the last haste there. And that is it. It is tree stars in the bag. Nothing but cleanup. Nice job, Mitch. Does wind up pulling that CC hound out there right at the end. Doesn't really matter. All right. Moving right along. Jocko. So Jocko's coming in here with a with a veiler. And I've said this in, in several past videos, but the veiler, the blue veiler, is so powerful. Um, oof, boy, healers take a black bomb right off the bat there. Uh, a couple of hogs in. To, to take out that um, that mortar tower and to lure the CC. And they do their job, throws down a rage. Um, Queen is going to take care of the CC here real quick. No problems. Does not need to use her ability there. And that is it. Going to keep working her way around over here. Starts a baby dragon to, to set this funnel so that he can bring his... Um, bring his Valks right up the right up the kind of gut here towards that queen. Here comes one Valk, and now they just pour in. Now notice right now he has two rages, and this is what I love about this attack. Ugh, double! He dropped two rages at the same time. Jocko is he? He uh, I've seen him do this a few times where he must forget that he has those extra healers in the bag there. Um, but at this point, he has burnt um, all of his rages. Would have been nice to have a rage right here. Uh, does not have that rage. Doesn't matter. Um, he has one heal left. And he's just walking these things around this base. Going to speed this up just a little bit. 
Those healers all leave the queen at this point. And she's just sitting there beating on a wall. The Valks work their way around. They're going to decide to start trying to punch through this wall. So he drops a heal to keep those Valks up while they punch through the wall. Um, Queen is still over here working on walls. Well, I guess she's working on the CC now. Um, and then he's got a few cleanup troops. He's going to start getting down. Notice, though, hasn't even dropped Queen's ability, or hasn't even popped Queen's ability yet. Um, saving that to take out this last expo, to be honest, um, doesn't even matter. Uh, does have this baby dragon. I think the baby dragon maybe is what gets the expo. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Queen is getting low on health. She finally pops through. Uh, he hits her ability. Oh, that's what happened. Uh, hits her ability. The expo switch is over, and that is it. It is true stars in the bag. Nice job, Jocko. That was a fresh triple, by the way. Um, Frank. Oh, another witch slap. My bad. James? Yeah, I was thinking that I wanted to watch one of James's attacks. Yeah, this is the one. So James is coming with a quad with a zap quake. So uh, zap quake is down and pulls the CC. And notice he also has a max skelly in there. Um, luring this, uh, the only uh, air targeting CC out here. I think it was also, I don't know, Valks and Gobs or something like that in there. Something that didn't target air. Um, so, uh, sends a hound in, um, has a couple of uh, rages, or a rage and a heal, I guess, is what he's got, because he used the zap quake. And he's going to work his way around. A very nice use of heal right there. Um, what I do like about that heal is it actually keeps that hound up a little bit while uh, pushing through this. He does only have four hounds. Of course, he zapped one of the ADs. Um, and now, moving in here, and this is what, you know, this is why putting a queen next to an AD is, is a bad idea. You can throw that skelly down. And rage that skelly spell up, and Queen goes down so fast. And it is GG at this point. Still has Queen's ability. And that is it. One defense left, and it's just a mortar. And it is Tree Stars in the bag. Nice job, James. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Troll Tesla down there. All right. Next, what were we going to look at? Adam. Oh, no, this wasn't the one by Adam that I wanted to see. Um, yep, I did want to see this one. I think Adam actually did a... Um, we'll have to go and look at his other attack. because I think his other attack was the one I wanted to show. Got him mixed up. Okay, so we have, as you can see here, it is a stoned hobo. Uh, two golems in. I'm using those golems primarily just to get a very, very clean funnel set. Um, needs that cannon to go down just to make sure that bowlers don't walk towards that cannon. And there it goes. Um, drops the last golem, drops the king, drops the queen, drops the bowlers. Uh, CC has been pulled and it is under... Uh, poison right now. Bowlers are in and raged up. And he's going to walk them straight down here. He has 16 hogs. And you'll see here, uh, he doesn't hardly need a single hog. I was amazed at the the uh, push that he got out of this kill squad. So um, kill squad now has walked all the way through the base. He has not brought in a single hog at this point. Um, throws a heal down on that kill squad as they meet up with the queen. And... We'll speed it up just a little bit. He starts bringing in hogs up top. Just a few. And he's going to lose those hogs right there. But that's okay. They did their job. Just a couple of defenses left now. Um, and he's got seven hogs in the bag. And here they come, working their way up in these last two defenses. Um, there we go. Tree stars in the bag. Oh, got a troll Tesla up here. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven hogs. Very, very nice job. Great execution. Hammer. Oh, yeah, we already showed one from Hammer. Let me see here. Where was Adam Anthony's other? There we go. Oh, huh. he did the same attack. Okay, um, I'll have to look here. Somebody did a, uh, a very, very cool um, P.E.K.K.A. Smash, which I haven't seen in quite a while. Um, we will watch Adam here, though, and then we will look for that P.E.K.K.A. Smash. Uh, unfortunately, um, I don't have my notes with me right now. Um, but I wanted to get this recording done before I lost the, before we lost the recaps. Um, okay, so, uh, Adam likes to throw a P.E.K.K.A. in there. I've said in the past that I like using the P.E.K.K.A. as well. Um, note that his P.E.K.K.A. is already gone at this point. Pretty sure, yeah. P.E.K.K.A. is down, King is down. Um, Queen and Bowlers are still pushing their way through. The important thing to note is that the Witches and, or the, the Witches and the Healers are still up. And that is really what you need in order to make sure that you get that three stars. Um, keeping those those healers alive is so important. So you see a lot of these offset bases with um, ADs all on the back end or something. Those are perfect bases for a witch attack, uh, a witch slap, because it, it winds up sucking all of the... Uh, I mean, sucking up all of the base... And you don't lose any healers until the very end of the attack. All right, let's find this heck of smash. Is it this one? Whoops. Nope. Let's see. Maybe it was Ammer. Here. Yeah, here we go. Ah, that's right. I did know I had an attack by Ammer. All right, let's slow this down. Let's watch what he's going to do here. Um, so, starts by bringing in a P.E.K.K.A. on this high HP building, and the Queen is sitting there hitting that P.E.K.K.A. with the goal of that P.E.K.K.A. aggroing on that Queen. going to throw a poison on there. I'm going to rage up that P.E.K.K.A. real quick, or rage up those healers real quick. Um... He knows that with the queen there, those P.E.K.K.A.s will push through that wall. Um, they will aggro on the queen. Now, unfortunately, bowlers walk here on him. Um, and uh, those P.E.K.K.A.s were just getting ready to head out. But fortunately, the bowlers took down this building right here. Um, okay, so P.E.K.K.A.s are going to beat through this wall. Kind of missed them with that rage there. Um, one P.E.K.K.A heads over here towards the uh, towards the expo um, we've got the CC out over here that just ate up all of his bowlers unfortunately um, but uh, if you can keep those P.E.K.K.A.s healed up boy you can do some serious damage uh, fortunately that dragon locks on to ground troops and not onto his healers um, does bring in a hog over here to take out uh, an, M or an exposed mortar while the um, Archer Tower is, is targeting this P.E.K.K.A. Um, Alright, pushing through here. Has still got two, two uh, spells in the bag here. Drops a heal for his hogs. Air defenses are all down at this point. Got a few hogs up yet. Heals them right here when they get to the uh, Tesla farm and that is it it is tree stars in the bag nice job Amor. or aimer all right that is it guys so again um here's how it looked props to red onslaught um, unfortunately that puts invicta at one and two one wins two losses in cwl and i, I believe this was um onslaught's first win i'm not sure but it was a, a very nice win i mean 86 stars is a it's a very respectable star count. Um, but until next week, this is Dr. D saying, Clash on.